There are fans of bands, and there are champions of bands. The Patrick John Hughes Parent Booster Award recognizes the extraordinary commitment, dedication, support, and sacrifice of music parents and boosters across the nation by shining a spotlight on a recipient who exemplifies these qualities. The following people are finalists for the 2012 Patrick John Hughes Parent Booster Award. Stephen Clintworth, Ravenwood High School, Nolensville, Tennessee. Johnny Hahn, Hillcrest High School, North Point, Alabama. Beverly Glazier, Merrill Community Schools, Merrill, Michigan. Gail Mama Quinn, Illinois Valley Central High School, Chillicothe, Illinois. This year's winner is more than a proud parent and a dedicated band booster president. He is a true music advocate who saw a need for a music program and didn't stop until the students of Hillsborough Middle School in Franklin, Tennessee had access to music. In 2011, Hillsborough Middle School was the only middle school in the area without an established band program. Some said that with only 275 students, there wouldn't be enough interest in building a band program. PJ Littleton proved them wrong. As an avid supporter of music and music education, he attended every roundtable discussion, zoning meeting, and PTO conversation. He recruited band members and created a campaign called Catch the Dream, Build the Band to spread the news. The summer before the band even existed, he raised over $35,000 to purchase new chairs, stands, instruments, and equipment. Thanks to Littleton's efforts, the new band program had nearly 60 students in its first year. Enrollment soared to 90 students the next year. PJ continued to raise money for new instruments and equipment, but his impact is much larger than that. He not only spread the word about the accomplishments of the students to the community, volunteered at concerts and school events, created band traditions and coordinated a year-end band bash, he even taught trumpet sectionals for the inaugural band. Rhonda Collinborn, president of Hillsboro Tomorrow said, PJ has been a cornerstone of our band program, even before most of us knew we were going to have a band program. Band director Cameron Gish said, his innovative ideas have transformed the way we think about band at Hillsboro School and within our own county. I am constantly inspired by his selfless attitude, his contagious energy, his tireless pursuit of excellence, and his unmatched passion for public school music education. On stage now to share this moment with our recipient, our Mr. Littleton's wife, Susan, children Casey and Webb, Hillsborough Middle School Director Cameron Gish and David McCullough, Director of ba Athletic Bands at Butler University, who is also Mr. Littleton's high school band director, presented by Mr. Eric Martin, President and CEO of Music for All, the 2012 Patrick John Hughes Parent Booster Award goes to P.J. Littleton. You know, with sincere gratitude and all humility, I really appreciate what Bands of America and Music for All has done for me and my family and my band tonight by giving me this national platform for you to learn a little bit about my little country cross crossroad band in Leapers Fork, Tennessee. Um, standing here with me tonight, as you said, are, are, is my family, and they're my inspiration. My wife and my daughter, Casey, who's a member of the Color Guard in the Franklin High School Band. Way to go, Franklin! This is my son, Webb. He's fallen in his father's footsteps as a trumpet player at our Hillsboro uh, Middle School Dreamcatcher Band. Um, and, you know, this is a pay it forward story for me. Uh, the band experience has been part of me ever since I was in the sixth grade. And I don't mind telling you I'm 52 years old now and there's not a day that I don't think about it. Uh, there's not a day that I don't draw upon things that I learned as being a part of it. It's so much more than just learning notes on a page and blowing air through an instrument and learning a drill design. It creates character, and that character goes on in all facets of life and in all careers 
and those people become leaders in what they do as a direct result of what they've learned and what they experienced in a night like this, in a weekend like this, it's magical. A pay it forward story here that I'd like you to know is that this is our rock star down here, Cameron Gish. I'm really shocked that we even have him because if he could never have graduated from that Murray State University band you just listened to, he'd still be commanding that band. Cameron, at 22 years old, took over uh, the, a, a fledgling program that started with absolutely nothing. He has grown it to 30% of the population of the school in the band. And on the other side of me is my high school band director from 1976, who was also 22 years old when he took over my high school band. David and I have remained friends ever since then. We've drawn upon each other for inspiration. We've sent sappy emails to each other that probably made each other cry. But he's always been here for me, and he said to me as we walked up here, he said, PJ, if this had been in Kansas, I'd still be there with you tonight. So I want to thank both of them for being my inspiration in my life as, along with my family. But the real heroes tonight, I have to tell you, are the 90 kids that are in that Hillsborough Middle School band. I love them. They are my kiddos. They give me a reason to get up every day and try to make their lives better. And it, you know, in the end, really, as a father, isn't that our job? To make our lives better for our children? Really? So go back into your communities. Give your time. Let everybody in your school system know how important it is. This story doesn't happen unless these men touched my life. I wouldn't be here without them. Thank you. Congratulations again, Mr. P.J. Littleton.